In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome text fade on and off effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to begin by creating a brand new sequence. And in order to do that, we're going to go up to the file button on the top left of Premiere Pro. We'll go into a new sequence. And it's really important here that we go into settings and we make sure this is a frame size of 1920 by 1080. This will ensure that the video is 16 by 9 and 16 by 9 is the aspect ratio of a widescreen video. So once you've got that aspect ratio set to 1920 by 1080 pixels, we can rename this if we want. I'm just going to rename this to fade. We'll press OK on that. And now we need to go ahead and we need to generate some text. So I'm going to go file, new, a legacy title. We'll press OK on this window. And in the legacy title window, we can type out whatever we like. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to press the T icon, make sure that's blue. We'll click anywhere on the canvas, caps lock on in my example, and I'm just going to type out my last name. That's Brooker. I'm going to change the fonts. We'll increase the weight of this, we'll increase the size, and then I'm just going to center this up using these two center buttons. Now we'll exit the legacy title window. We'll drag title one onto video layer one in the sequence. We'll zoom into the timeline by pressing the plus button. Quick tip, if you want to zoom out of the timeline, just press the minus button. And if you want to zoom in, just press the plus button. So from here, we can go ahead and select title one. We'll go into effect controls, go into the opacity tab, and just go ahead and select the create four point polygon mask button or the button that looks like a rectangle. Now we're just going to drag that all the way over to the left and making sure the text is not visible. Then we'll increase the size of that mask. So I'm going to increase the height of this mask and then I'll increase the width of the mask. So I'm just going to zoom out to make this a little easier for myself. Then we'll move roughly half a second into the video. We'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path by pressing the stopwatch icon. We'll move one second to the right and we'll move the position of the mask over to the right and making sure we are revealing the text. So we should be able to see the entire word that we just generated. Now, if we play this back, we've got this text reveal effect happening. But the problem is this doesn't look very soft. At the moment, you can clearly see the end of that mask. It's clearly defined by this harsh line just here. And we really want to soften that out. So we'll press title one again, go into mask one, and we're going to increase the mask feather all the way up to a really high number of around 300%. Now, when we play this back, that should be a lot softer. And there you go. We've just done the soft fade in. Now to do the soft fade out, all you need to do is the same process, but just exiting rather than coming in. So after a second or two, we'll create a brand new keyframe on mask path. We'll go one second to the right, click mask one, and we'll drag this mask all the way to the right off screen. Now, if we play this back from the very beginning, we've got the text fading in and fading out. The soft fade in and fade out effect is a really easy but really awesome effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro that utilizes masking. So if you feel like you learned something today in this video, or if you just enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed, then please do press that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.